Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to use the forest model in Ultrax. So here if you go on the predictive tab, now here you can see a uh, forest model. So this all that I already discussed. So let's click on this forest model. Here you can get a uh, small definition about the forest model. So it's uh, just like a uh, decision tree and uh, here except that it uh, uses dozens or hundreds of decision tree model or remove bias and improve accuracy so this is what the forest model so let's uh, understand by example so here i'm going to use the uh, input data drag inside to workflow now you can connect with file or database so click on this drop down and after clicking drop down for data source, database tables, you can use anyone like uh, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Amazon, Aura, and uh, many more. For file, you need to go on this file tab. Here you need to click on this select. Or I already have the file, so I'm not going to use. So here on recent, I have the file name d.yxdb. So here it has uh, two numeric field, demand ID and demand. Now let's uh, use, uh, so here I think uh, this table has uh, 3 to 9, 4 rows. So I'm going to do the filtering. So we need to use filter transformation and uh, here. So on the basis of uh, demand ID, I'm going to do the filtering because demand ID you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is so uh, sequence wise. Now click on this uh, filter and here after demand ID less than equal to 100. Now here after when that done, here after let's go to predictive and uh, drag this uh, forest model and uh, here it has T and uh, F so here filter now here after the next is click on this forest model first we need to give the model name so here MD forest md forest model now here after we can here select uh, demand id it's fine selecting demand and uh, no need to change anything now it has uh, o and r o for output and r for report so let's uh, drag here browse now the workflow that has done click on this run workflow and uh, here you can see this is uh, or 3294 rows it's incoming here it's filtered only 100 rows now 100 rows go to this uh, and here it finished now if i click on this uh, or o option so o is for output here you can see name md forest and here not null now this is for report if i click on the report here you can get uh, basic summary of this so here basic summary call random forest formula this is the formula here demand id and uh, here this option demand data uh, and the data and uh, here after entry 500 replace true type forest and mean s squared and here after you can see percentage error for different number of trays now here this is the error and if i scroll down here you can see this is the trace 0 100 200 that go to till 500 and here if i scroll down variance important tense plot so here this is come to 6000 now here if i scroll down here ink node purity 
now let's uh, click on this forest model so here we can select uh, more than two so if i select demand id demand id both places so let's see what happened so since the number of rows only 100 so it will take only few seconds time to complete this all process 29 percent done and uh, it will take only few second times like uh, 15 16 so here you can see 13 second time it's taken and there is no any problem so let's click on this now here you can see this is the formula and here this is the error and trace so that means so uh, in forest model you can give uh, selected target this place and predicted variable this place there is no any problem now this is here my model customization you can increase or decrease graphic option you can increase decrease resolution increase decrease so this is the simplest uh, way we can use the forest model inside all tricks so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you